Hi guys, it's Macabussy here and it's time for another song reaction and today we are going to be doing the song Bleed by Meshuga. I am currently doing this live on stream on Twitch if you guys are interested in that you should go over to twitch.tv slash reactions, follow the Twitch channel, that would be fucking lovely. If you don't, fuck you, I don't really care. Anyway, point is, the guys in the chat have started a conversation basically saying how long is Mark going to last listening to Bleed by Meshuga and I think... I think the average is about 20 seconds, so I'm now scared. I'm going to say something controversial here and this is going to piss off every single metal person that is in this channel right now watching this. That's not that fucking heavy. The production is so fucking bassy on it all that none of it comes through in the mix. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't feel heavy to me. I keep saying this, right? I keep saying this, but you put this up against Glassjaw. And Glassjaw are not detuned anything like as heavy as Meshuggah. They're not playing as fast as Meshuggah. But what they've got sounds fucking angry. Like genuinely angry. And it sound, and because of that, it feels so much fucking heavier. I'm going to bring up Glassjaw. And, and I'm going to let you guys see what you think is the heavier of the two. Just... Like, and I'm not meaning, I don't mean better, like, I just mean heavier. I'm just going to say it right, I love that fucking song, love that song. I have just been informed that my sugar has got nothing to do with the heaviness, it's to do with the syncopation, but then I'm really confused because all you guys were like, let's see how long it can last with my sugar, and that, my assumption was it's because it was going to be so wildly over the top fucking heavy and brrr, that I was going to go, no, I'm not doing this. <laughs> you did me dirty, right, fuck it. We're going back, I'm listening to it, and in this case, I'm just going to listen to it for syncopation. I'm not going to get angry about how heavy it is, about how... Uh, the mix is crap, though. The mix is crap. That's weird, because suddenly the snare's cutting through really, really fucking cleanly. And I don't know why, because it wasn't before. I'm not even judging whether this is a good song or not, to be honest with you, because I feel like it almost could be, but there's things about the production that have kind of screwed it. So, for example, the bass drum 
isn't particularly basic, it's very fucking trebly, and it's cutting through above everything else, and I feel like they've did that so that they can showcase the guy's double bass ability, which, fine, cool, but there's nothing really sitting on top of it at all to kind of, I don't know, to, like, the bass, the actual bass isn't doing anything to go along with it that you can hear, and normally you would have your bass and your bass drum kind of synced so that you were playing what, like, you're playing the bass as the bass drum is playing, and it gives it extra punch, and that's, if it is happening, you can't hear it. Yeah, it's kind of strange, and then suddenly when they come in with the snare drum, which, by the way, is cool. The drumming is cool. Like, what he's actually playing on the drum kit is cool, because the double bass is fucking cool, and then you've just got the really slow crash, and then the snare came in in a weird timing, which was, it's, it's good, it's fucking phenomenal drumming, actually, but it just sounds, the rest of the guitars around it sound weird. And again, and this is my personal preference, I would prefer if he was at least slightly singing, the growling's the growling is what it is. I kind of I kind of go into it expecting this at this point. At least it's not fucking Lorna Shore, fucking what was that other Warm Shepherd band? At least it's not that that because that was brutal to listen to. But this is kind of heavy Gojira level, which I'm I'm fine with that honestly. I just wish it was a bit. If it had a bit more high end on the guitars, it would be a bit more ferocious sounding, and I think that would have been. Yeah. I'm going to say something a bit weird, right? And I know it's a bit weird based on how fucking angry I've been throughout this entire song. Okay, kind of liking the actual song. <laughs> There's some really interesting stuff happening. It's just quite hard to hear because of the way it's been mixed. And that's what that kind of leads back to what I was saying with the guitars before. If they if they were a bit more treble in there, then when it was doing the kind of off hits with the, I don't know how best to describe it, but there was like wee high notes getting put in there that on like off beats and stuff that was going a long way what the drummer was doing. If they had a bit more punch to them, it would have been, it, that would have been better. And it's frustrating because then in my head I'm like, well that's, that's, that's pretty decent what you've done there, but whoever the fuck was in the studio with them recording it has made an absolute arse of it. The screaming, not a fan. Not a fan. I can ignore that, because musically it's quite interesting. I went into this quite antagonistic because I expected it to be terrible. <laughs> I feel like I get so dirty on it, and I, I was expecting much, much worse than what I've actually been given. And it turns out, yeah, it's not that bad at all. So, <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm gonna hold my hands up. Yeah, it's not the worst. The production is shit. The actual song, not that bad. Oh, 
basically where I'm at now is they are a faster version of Tool. And that they've got that whole thing that Tool love to do where they'll have like five minutes playing the same fucking riff over and over again whilst they just build up and build up kind of like a, a rhythm and then they kind of offset it with weird wee things here and there. Because it is just the same guttural shout through the whole thing, it is quite repetitive and you could have done with a bit more kind of actual melody or something in there to break up the monotony of the passages. Like maybe just, uh, I think that's maybe just a personal preference to be honest with you. I get there's people who will quite happily sit through this whole thing and just not really give a shit that it's just repeating the same thing over and over again but for me I'd like it to do something a wee bit more different to switch things up or to give me some kind of like melody just to hang my fucking hat on it's not the shit show that I thought it was <laughs> there's just wee things that I would that I personally would like to change about it different strokes for different folks I don't really know what to make of that, to be honest with you. There was parts of it that I really liked, and there was parts of it that I thought were terrible. It's one of those ones where I'm now kind of like, do I want to go and listen to more of them and see if there's songs that I like, or do I just fucking give up because that one was fair to middling? I don't know. Fuck it, that was, that was Bleed by My Sugar. Guys, tell me what you thought about that in the comments below. Did you like it? Did you not? Should I check out more? Would it be worth my time? Let me know. I've been Mark Abusi. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys next time.